Known as the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett is probably the most well-known stock investor out there. Having made his first investment at age 11, Warren Buffett has more than 80 years of investing experience and today is one of the wealthiest and most well-respected finance gurus out there. As of September of this year, Warren has a net worth of $102.3 billion and currently runs Berkshire Hathaway, a multinational conglomerate holding company that owns more than 60 companies in total. With so much experience in investing, I think a lot of people are curious as to what Warren believes are solid companies worth investing in. And it's actually required by law here in the United States that anyone who manages over $100 million needs to disclose all of their stock holdings every quarter, or every three months. People like Warren file what's known as a 13F with the SEC on behalf of Berkshire Hathaway, and we as investors actually have access to these documents on the SEC's website. This is actually a pretty common way of investing, which is known as the copycat investing strategy, where investors make decisions as to what stocks they'll hold based on the research that a large successful investor has done and currently holds in their portfolio. You can find all of these 13F forms by going to sec.gov and clicking on more search options here at the top right of the page. And then on the left side of the page where it says ticker symbol, enter BRK-A, which is one of the Berkshire Hathaway's ticker symbols. Click on Find Companies, and as you can see, we get Berkshire Hathaway at the top. Under Filter, type 13F in the Filing Type field and hit Search. These are all of their 13Fs, and you can actually compare the current quarter to the previous so you can see what he's unloading and what he's adding to his portfolio. We'll take a look at their most current, which is at the top. So click on Documents, and then here in the center you'll see five different links that you can click on. Click on the one with all the numbers that ends in .html. And as you can see, every single holding Warren Buffett has as of last filing quarter is here. I decided to comb through everything in Warren's stock portfolio, and today I'm going to be presenting and discussing the five stocks in his portfolio that offer the highest dividend yields. While everyone should do their own research and come to their own conclusions, I think that given the fact that Warren has over 80 years of experience, that definitely says something about his confidence in these companies. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of all of his picks, but Warren holds mostly consumer staples, which are very large companies that sell essential products like food, hygiene products, oil and gas, and household goods. These industries are much less volatile during bad economic times, but they don't really experience a whole lot of growth. Despite that though, consumer staples can still be very profitable investments, especially with those dividends factored in. Warren Buffett still believes in these companies as he owns hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars worth of these company shares. So with that being said, let's get into the list. At number 5 we have Store Capital, ticker symbol STOR. As of the making of this video, this is the only real estate investment trust in Warren's portfolio and it currently only makes up about 0.3% of his entire portfolio. Store Capital is an internally managed net lease REIT that's the leader in the acquisition, investment, and management of single tenant operational real estate. They currently have a portfolio of over 2,500 properties located across the United States and they're located in Scottsdale, Arizona. Honestly, this really did kind of surprise me as this company isn't exactly the most well-known REIT out there and Store Capital has only been around since 2014. We can see though that since being publicly listed, the share price has seen a pretty decent amount of growth. Currently trading at $36.06 per share, it pays a quarterly dividend of $0.36 cents per share and they've continued to increase it year over year since being founded. Unlike so many other REITs in 2020, Store Capital actually experienced revenue growth that year, and it's seen continuous year-over-year -year growth in revenue every year since being founded. With a payout ratio of 77.94% according to Seeking Alpha, this implies that Store Capital has enough money on hand to continue to keep paying their dividends at their current rate. During the pandemic, Warren actually doubled down and bought more shares of this REIT during the market plunge of last year, which as we can see by this company's performance was actually a pretty solid move on his part. Their share price hit a low of about $14 per share during the pandemic and it now trades at more than double that. Warren currently owns over $841 million worth of shares in this company. Coming in at number 4 we have the Kraft Heinz Company, ticker symbol KHC. This is currently Warren's fifth largest holding in his stock portfolio which makes up 4.81% of his entire portfolio. The Kraft Heinz Company, together with its subsidiaries, manufactures and markets food and beverage products in the United States. Canada, the United Kingdom, and internationally. Their products include condiments and sauces, cheese and dairy products, dinner meals, meats and seafood, frozen and chilled foods, packaged drinking pouches, appetizers, beverages, desserts, among many many others. 
They're one of the most well-known consumer companies out there since they own a lot of popular brands, including Kraft, Kool-Aid, Jell-O, Maxwell House, Velveeta, and more. Kraft Heinz is a company that for years was known as a solid consumer staple, having a long history of increasing their dividends. However, in 2018, Kraft reported a significant loss of $10 billion in their income statement. This resulted in them having to drastically slash their dividend in March of 2019, from $0.60 cents per share to $0.43 cents per share. If we look at the long-term performance of this stock, we can see that it peaked in March of 2017 at about $96 per share, whereas now, it currently trades for about $35.83 per share. And if that wasn't unfortunate enough, Kraft Heinz has been under investigation by the SEC and it was just revealed a few days ago that it was discovered that they were intentionally misrepresenting company performance and they were slapped with a $62 million fine. Needless to say, this stock hasn't been one of Warren's best picks in terms of growth, but just given how many brands Kraft owns, they might be a company that's almost too big to fail. Given the SEC's latest findings, it'll be interesting to see how this stock performs in the upcoming months. Given their more recent financial reports, well, assuming that they're accurate, things do appear to be turning around for this company. Let's just hope that they'll use more ethical reporting going forward. At number 3, we have Verizon, ticker symbol VZ. This is Warren's sixth largest holding, making up 3.41% of his total portfolio. Verizon offers communications, technology, information, and entertainment products and services to consumers, businesses, and government entities worldwide. They sell postpaid and prepaid service plans, internet access on network computers and tablets, as well as wireless equipment. As of December of 2020, Verizon had approximately 94 million wireless retail connections, 7 million broadband connections, as well as 27 million wireless retail postpaid connections. They've been around since 1983 and they were formerly known as the Bell Atlantic Corporation. It currently trades for $55.43 per share, and it offers a dividend yield of 4.62%. It pays dividends quarterly, with their last being for $0.64 cents per share. They've been able to increase their dividends every year since 2007. Despite the increasing dividends though, the share price of Verizon has been more lackluster. It's currently down over 9% from this time a year ago, and it's only up about 2% over the last 5 years. But one piece of good news is that Verizon just announced another increase in their quarterly dividend last week. Verizon is a company that has to continuously innovate and upgrade their services due to how competitive their industry is. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why Verizon has a payout ratio of only 48.45% according to Seeking Alpha. Whenever a company has leftover money on hand, they can do one of two things. They can either pay it to shareholders in the form of dividends or they can reinvest it into their company in order to grow it. Despite this stock's flatlining performance in terms of its share price, at least Verizon's been able to keep increasing their dividend, which is always a good thing. There's no denying that they're one of the biggest companies in the mobile network field, which makes it understandable why Warren would want this kind of company in his stock portfolio. At number 2 is AbbVie, ticker symbol ABBV. This is a company I've discussed numerous times on this channel before, and I even made an analysis video on them several months back if you're interested. But AbbVie currently makes up 0.91% of Warren Buffett's portfolio, and he owns about 22.8 million shares of this pharmaceutical company's stock. AbbVie discovers, develops, manufactures, and sells pharmaceuticals internationally. They sell medicines that treat a wide range of illnesses and diseases, including lymphoma, hypertension, migraines, Parkinson's disease, among several others. They employ over 48,000 people worldwide, and they're headquartered out of North Chicago, Illinois. According to their website, 57 million people use their products annually in 175 different countries. Abvi currently has 22 primary research and manufacturing facilities around the world, and they currently produce 32 different treatments as of the making of this video. What Abvi also does is they use their existing treatments and expand them into new treatment areas, which helps diversify their product line. Abvi is also a dividend aristocrat, meaning that they've been able to increase their quarterly dividend every year for more than 25 consecutive years. It currently pays $1.30 per share, giving it a dividend yield of 4.66%. According to Seeking Alpha, this stock also has a 5-year dividend growth rate of 18.01%, which is really good. Plus, unlike some others on this list, this stock has seen an excellent amount of long-term growth. If you want more in-depth information on this company, again, you can feel free to check out my other video, but personally, I'm a really big fan of AbbVie. It's a stock that's performed exceptionally well, and they've been very generous in terms of their dividends. 
It's kind of an unfortunate situation, I guess, where people absolutely need their medicines, which technically requires them to be customers, and as shareholders, we get to profit from that. Before I get to number one on this list, if this video has benefited you in any sort of way, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and also subscribing to the channel if you want to see more high dividend yielding stock videos. Thank you all so much for your consideration and your continual support. Finally at number one, or the highest yielding dividend stock in Warren Buffett's portfolio, is Chevron, ticker symbol CVX. This stock makes up just 0.91% of Warren Buffett's total portfolio, but he does currently own 2.48 million shares. Just like AbbVie, I also made a video on Chevron a few months ago, which you can check out if you want more in-depth information on them. But Chevron engages in integrated energy, chemical, and petroleum operations worldwide. Through their upstream segment, they're involved in the exploration, development, and production of crude oil and natural gases. Their downstream segment engages in refining crude oil into petroleum products and lubricants. Not to mention they also operate their own gas stations, and they're also involved in other various insurance, finance, real estate, and technology businesses. Whenever I talk about Chevron or other oil companies, some people like to mention how we're seeing a push for more electric vehicles and alternative forms of energy. And I think what people fail to realize is how dependent we truly are on oil. As I brought up in my Chevron video, oil is used in a ton of products we consume, a lot of which you probably wouldn't even think of, including televisions, computers, lipsticks, candles, detergents, garden furniture, and a ton more. But Chevron's stock performance, much like Verizon's, has been lackluster for many years now. While it's currently up over 18% from this time a year ago, it's actually down 5.6% from 5 years ago, and it's down about 2% from 10 years ago. But the good news is that Chevron is also a dividend aristocrat. They've been able to grow their dividends every year for the past 34 years and counting. Their stock yields 5.5%, and they pay a quarterly dividend of $1.34 per share. In terms of dividend growth, it's not nearly as impressive as AbbVie, as Chevron's 5-year dividend growth rate is only about 4.21%. Again, if you want more in-depth information on this company, you can check out my other video, but as of the making of this video, this is Warren Buffett's highest yielding dividend stock. Alright everyone, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If this video benefited you in any sort of way, please click the like button below and click subscribe if you want to see more dividend investing strategy videos. It would just let me know that there's a sizable enough audience out there who wants this kind of content and I'll continue to provide you all with that content. Alright everyone, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Take care.